All right, guys, moment of truth. I'm about to stick these pistons and rods in here and see where we sit. Because by engine math calculators, they should be sitting up above the deck a little bit. And uh, Hunter Toon did this. I'm, well, he used these pistons. He didn't use LS rods. What did he say he ended up using? I think he tried... LS crank GSR rods with the CTR pistons and his setup above the deck quite a bit but also his deck was milled down to down there the top of these indicators you got one there one here one back here and his was you know pretty much right on those indicators so his deck was milled down Oh, 50 thousandths so anyways um, by all the engine math calculators like Zeal Auto Works and whatnot these pistons are supposed to stick up above the deck on LS rods by two thousandths of an inch but I'm about to find out so here we go all right guys so here's what we got i was prepping the engine to put the rods pistons in got the rings on the pistons and uh put the bearings in the rods and i was like well this don't quite fit right i had ordered some b18 b rod a b rods they sent me b18 c rod bearings is what I meant to say and uh, they don't fit where the crap I got them in this one let me see if I can get it to where I can show you so you see where the tangs are on the bearings how this one's set to this side this one's set to that side and that offsets the bearings and I mean, they might work. I wouldn't trust them with them being offset because this bearing's more to this side in the cap. And then this bearing's more to this side in the actual rod. So they got this weird offset. So I ordered some more bearings, some king bearings, actually for a B18 AB. So. I'm going to clearance these bearings out and uh, we'll proceed to put the pistons in. Let me get this one apart, put a new bearing in it, check my bearing clearances and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Alright, so now I got all the bearings in, I got them mic'd, clearanced, all that using my uh, micrometers and my dial bore gauge I showed y'all how to do that before with the mains and I think I have another video maybe my GSR turbo video where I showed you how to do the rods anyways got that all done so we're ready to put these bad boys in and uh, these bearings fit much better so my next shot I'll take is uh, installing these bad boys. I'm ready. I've been taking my sweet time with this, but I'm ready. And just to give y'all an example of the build sheet so far. So this is what a blueprinting sheet looks like. For everyone who didn't know. Alright, I don't know how much of this that I'll actually record for you guys and put on here. Because this is kind of monotonous. Same old, same old, you know. Put the bearings in, do all that, blah, 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 clearance them. And then put some assembly lube on them. And then lube the piston skirts mainly and then put the piston in and put the cap on 
all that stuff so I'll probably get at least this one for you guys and then you know it's the same old same after that anyways got my rings on you want to make sure that you have them clocked how you want them as long as they're not lined up and they're at least oh 90 is it 90 degrees about 90 degrees off from each other the ring gaps top ring one place second ring different place I mean y'all should kind of know the drill by now and the oil rings are going to be about the same thing at least 90 degrees off from each other and then I'll put some oil on here and we'll slap this bad boy in there can use you know break-in oil or regular motor oil for this don't use synthetics just uh, get you a good little bit on there go around that skirt everywhere and I've said it before there's really no such thing as too much like about the only way you're gonna have too much is if it's running off and making a mess in the floor <laughs> you might not want that I mean it doesn't really matter you clean it up later but it is what it is your preference if you want to clean it up later then you know more power to you a little bit on the skirt up top or not the skirt but the crown just a little you don't want a whole whole lot but you don't want it getting scratched you damn sure don't need any on your piston dome I mean our main focus here is the side skirt once you got a good liberal amount check your rings one more time and your piston orientation you know make sure you got the intake on the intake side exhaust on the exhaust side and you're ready to drop her in there let me get my ring compressor I don't have it handy and we'll drop it in all right now I know I've you have seen me do this before I've done it on video before because I remember talking about how I have this cheap ring compressor but it does the job and I'm fine with that and uh, yeah I'd like to get one of those nice ring compressors Because, yeah, sometimes this one's a pain in the damn ass. And this happens. And then I gotta pull the damn thing out. Try it again. Oh, look at that. My damn bearing's starting to fall out. Imagine that. We weren't going down evenly. Like, you don't want to try to force it too much because you'll bend your ring and mess it up. And that'll ruin your day. And you'll be cussing this and that. And yeah, it just sucks. So let's kind of reset this sucker and start over again. got 
about this time. And it helps if I get the piston in the right way. That'll help too. I didn't want to do that. Come here. Bam! Got it that time. And yeah, I was going to show you guys. I think I talked about it. And I know I recorded it, but it ended up getting corrupt and deleted. So, uh, Hunter did this same thing on Hunter Tuned, his channel. And, uh, let's see, he used... Uh, I don't remember what the heck he used exactly. I want to say it was a LS block with he was trying to use GSR rods and CTR pistons and his deck was milled down probably oh fifty thousandths I would guess. Um he didn't know that when he started the build. Um anyways, so we got it all ready got the piston started in there and uh, his piston stuck out the top of the deck you know I think he was guessing somewhere around 50 to 90 thousandths and uh, he ended up having to go with some B16 rods and I don't know I think the B16 rods alleviated it anyways if y'all want to know the details go check out his channel see what he did but I'm gonna show y'all how it came out for me because I'm pretty sure this deck is almost got no mill but it's flat because I've checked it and I don't know how many times and this is a true 212 millimeter tall deck and uh, let me get this piston all set up here get some of this crap out of the way and I'll show y'all I've already checked it like I said and uh, file recording got corrupted and I had to delete it so we're gonna do it again I'm gonna show you so I already know let me show y'all all right so this is what I was talking about if I can get a good shot of it here right here where the quench area the quench area is right here and the quench area right here, they're just, oh, let me see if I can, they're probably like a quarter of a thousandth below the deck. So that's perfect. Like I was saying on Hunter's, his came up out of the deck just a little bit. So, proven that this combination is awesome and it will work with a non um, decked block or very minimally decked block and LS rods on an LS crank CTR pistons so there you have it I'm gonna get these other pistons in and uh, I'll record something else for you guys. And alright guys, there we have it. Pistons installed. So it turns over nice and smooth. Man, it seems like it's taken me forever to get to this point. But now we're here. And uh, I got a little bit of head work left to do, and I'm about to upload this video for y'all to watch, and I'll make some more on the head work, and maybe we'll finally get this thing put back together. It's been a long time coming, 
I know I've been taking my time, you know, had a lot going on, holidays and whatnot, but come on, let's do it.